guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the divide intervals into minimum number of groups problem which is from lead code number 2406 we will see two optimal approaches one will be based on line sweep 1d and the second one will be the difference array uh, in order to watch this difference array track technique the prerequisite will be to watch my video on difference array so the link will be in the i button and also in the description below you can go and see that this problem is similar to minimum platforms problem, my calendar too and the number of smallest unoccupied chair problem. So you can consider solving these problems after the current problem. Let's now look at the problem statement. You are given 2D integer array intervals where intervals at i equals left at i comma right at i representing the inclusive interval of left and right. Okay, You have to divide the intervals into one or more groups such that each interval is in exactly one group and no two intervals are in the same group uh, intersecting each other. Return the minimum number of groups that you need to make and two intervals intersect if there is at least one common number between them. For example, 1, 5 and 5, 8 intersect because these two numbers are inclusive. Okay. Now, before looking at the problem statement, let's look at the constraint. In the constraint section, you see that the number of intervals are 10 to the power of 5. So, you already know that an n square algorithm is not going to work because that will make it 10 to the power 10 which is very high as compared to 10 to the power of 8 and we need to run it within one second so it has to be less than 10 to the power 8 as number of operations right so we will not be discussing the n square approach let's uh, look at an example for better understanding let's say that our intervals array is 1 comma 5 7 comma 10 and 3 comma 8 so i have already shown these intervals now our goal is to find the minimum number of groups that means we can uh, derive the logic as finding the maximum number of overlaps that you can have. Okay, because this will define what will be the minimum number of groups that you need. So in this case, what is the maximum overlap? You see 1 and 5 is overlapping with 3 and 8 and 7 and 10 is overlapping with 3 and 8. But the maximum overlap at any point of time is 2. And that's why the answer is 2. Because you cannot have all the 3 overlapping together, right? because 7 is starting after finishing this 5. So the constraint here is all the intervals are inclusive and that is why I have made all these circles as solid. Okay, otherwise I would have made them as hollow. So once you have understood the problem, I will use the idea of making the start as inclusive and the end point as exclusive. Why I am doing this? Because I have solved a similar problem where I will be making the start as an arrival time and uh, the second point as the departure time. You can see that in the minimum platforms problem where I want to find out how many minimum number of platforms I need so that I can uh, actually serve the schedule of every train. So the train has arrival and departure time. Even if you solve the meeting rooms 2 problem, it is the same question where people are booking meeting room. They have arrival time of a person and the departure time so that people can leave, right? With a similar idea, I will be uh, making all these points, let's say 1, 2, 4, they both are inclusive, right? So what is the next point after 4? It is 5 because we are dealing with integer number only. So instead of writing 1, 4 as inclusive, I will be writing 1 is the arrival time and 5 is the departure time. So that if somebody else is coming at 5, they can get in uh, at the same time 5. But if somebody is coming in at 4, there will be a collision, right? So I will try to convert this problem into an already known problem like meeting rooms 2 problem or minimum platforms problem, right? So 1 comma 4 can be written as 1 comma 5 where 5 is excluded and 1 is included. Similarly, 2 comma 5 can be written as 2 comma 6 where 6 is not included. Okay, so this is that kind of a departure time. So that is my idea here. Now, I will be using the line sweep 1D technique as I have been using in all the similar problems. So the first thing here is uh, your intervals will be given and we need to break the intervals into two different uh, types that means arrival type and departure type. I will be marking arrival with plus one and I will be marking departure events with minus one. So you see this one comma five is an event. Okay. And uh, this event can be broken down into two different event where one is the arrival time. Okay. So, that, so that's why I have written one comma one. That means this one means arrival time. And this one is when is the event happening. Now 5 is the departure time. Okay. So I am writing 5 comma minus 1. The minus 1 is saying that this is a departure event and 5 is saying when is this departure event happening. Now if you look at this information that I have stored, I am not storing the index because I do not have any concern 
who is coming and who is going i am just concerned about how many are actually overlapping at any point of time i am just concerned about the count i am not concerned about that particular person right so that's why i am not storing the index values now if you look at the second value 7 comma 10 i will break 7 to 7 comma 1 that means it is an arrival event happening at 7 10 comma minus 1 that means it is a departure event happening at 10 and similarly 3 comma 8 can also be written now the second thing is this is not sorted in the timeline so i will sort it on the timeline so that i can process from one side to another so we will be sorting everything in ascending order after having sorted it i know that every point on the right hand side will be greater than equals to every point on the left hand side based on the time event so now i will be uh, maintaining a max overlap which will be keeping track of what is the maximum number of overlap at any given point of time and whenever i see any arrival event then i will be increasing the overlap count by one and when i see a departure event then i will be decreasing the overlap count by one okay the logic is if somebody is using something then I will need more number of rooms in, in the form of the meeting room booking, right? Something like that. So if 1 comma 1 is coming, then at time 1, there is an arrival event. So I will be increasing the overlap value. Okay, so the max overlap will be checked with overlap and this will also be updated to 1. Now again, 3 comma 1 is coming. So this is an arrival event and so the overlap count will increase and now max overlap will be compared and this will become 2. If you go to the next value 5 comma minus 1 this is a departure event so the overlap count will be decreased by 1 now the max overlap is higher so no update 7 comma 1 is an arrival event so i will increase the value to 2 now again 2 and 2 will be compared and no update 8 comma minus 1 is a departure event so overlap count will decrease by 1 and again this 10 comma minus 1 is a departure event so the overlap count will become 0 here and at the end when you are done parsing everything the max overlap will give you at any point of time what was the maximum overlap happening that means what was the maximum number of rooms you required for booking your meeting okay so you can relate it to any such problems that you have solved and this is the line sweep 1d uh, approach and uh, the time complexity will definitely be analog and for the sorting algorithm the parsing from left to right is linear time space complexity is order of n in this case Let's now look at the code before looking the second approach. So this is the uh, C++ code. The Java and the Python code will also be present in the description link. You can just check it out. I have taken a pair integer integer for two things. The first one will be the time and the second one will be the type. What type of event it is. Minus one means departure event. Plus one means it is an arrival event. So I will be taking all the intervals and I will be inputting all the intervals in the events array. Okay. Once that is done, I will be sorting. So this is step number two. This was step number one. Okay. Now, once the sorting is done, then after that, I will be maintaining overlap and max overlap and I will keeping track of the overlap values. If an uh, arrival event is happening, I'll do overlap plus plus otherwise overlap minus minus. And I will always keep on updating the max overlap. If I see that the overlap value is even more than the max overlap. And at the end, I will be returning max overlap. So this is the line sweep 1D approach. Before looking at the next approach, uh, you should watch my video on the difference array. And if you are continuing with this approach, then I hope that you have already seen that video. Okay. You can find the link in the description section as well. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number so we can solve this problem even more optimally by using difference array and the difference array's main goal is to do range update when you want to increase certain value or decrease certain value in a given range then you can do all these each of the updates in order of one time so i will take an array and name it as difference okay so this is your difference array the size of this array will be always minimum and maximum of the intervals that you can see so i can see that the minimum value is one and my array will always start at zero so let's start at zero maximum value is 10 so i will end it at 10 okay in the problem statement you will see that the range is given as 1 less than equals to 10 to the power of 6 okay so the range will always be from 1 to 10 to the power of 6 you can check that out so in this case i will see the first interval i need not do anything i see the first interval what i will do is since this interval has to be created so 
at 1 i will be incrementing the value by 105 plus 1 that means at 6 i will be decrementing the value in the difference array so the meaning of this is you have incremented all the values from 1 to 5 by 1 this is the meaning now let's go to the second interval from 7 to 10 i will be incrementing all the values by plus 1 okay so what i do is at 7 i will be doing plus 1 okay so so this will become 1 and at 10 plus 1 that means at 11 i will be doing minus 1 okay so you see that in this case we were running out of bounds so i will always take some extra space for safety and at least one extra space is needed for safety and that is the reason i will be uh, in the code i will be taking five extra spaces for safety right you need only one space by the way i hope you have understood this so the meaning is you have incremented uh, one value from 7 to 10 if you go to the next interval from 3 to 8 then i need to increase the value from 3 to 8 by plus 1 again so at 3 i will do plus 1 and at 8 plus uh, 1 that means at 9 i will do minus 1 after having parsed all the intervals let's parse this difference array and check out what will be the max value at any given point of time so i'll be maintaining the max overlap variable which will be equals to 0 and an overlap variable which will be keeping a track of what is the current overlap and i will simply parse from left to right the first value is 0 so this will be 0 whenever i see a 1 i will be adding it to the overlap value and i will always be comparing the max overlap so this will become 1 this is 0 so no change this is 1 so this will become 2 and this will also become 2 now this is 0 so no change there is a 0 so no change there is a minus 1 so make it minus 1 so this is 1 again a 1 so this becomes 2 again this is 0 this is minus 1 so this becomes 1 and here you have a 0 and here you have a minus 1 so this becomes 0 right so the max overlap you saw was 2 and hence the answer will be 2 in this case we did not need to uh, break the intervals in any part okay and if you know this difference array technique i think uh, you can solve it much more easily the time complexity will be order of n plus the range because we have to go in the uh, we have to iterate from the zero to the entire range of the difference array right so for that we need an extra run and and order of number of intervals that means n run for the entire interval set okay so this will be n plus r and the space complexity will be order of r which is for the difference array now let's see why the difference array works in this case so the range is maximum interval minus minimum interval in the problem statement it is given the value ranges from 1 to 10 to the power of 6 so our range is maximum 10 to the power of 6 so the space taken for the difference array if we have taken an integer array which is 4 byte for every integer so 10 to the power 6 entries will take 4 mb and this is within the allowed limit and that is why the difference array technique works here but if the range of value increases okay uh, and then the number of intervals are less but the range is higher then you cannot go with the difference array then you have to go with the line sweep algorithm because let's say if the range was 1 to 10 to the power of 9 then in this case you will consume 4 gb because 10 to the power 9 is g right so 4 gb space is not available in the problem even though the n value can be less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 so in that case this difference array will not work whereas your previous technique of line sweep will work so the efficiency depends on the inputs as well so let's now look at the code for this difference array this is the simple difference array code where the intervals are given and uh, i will be taking the difference array of size 10 to the power 6 plus 5 the plus 5 is for safety assigning all the values with 0 i will be iterating through all the intervals and at the start point i will be doing plus plus and the interval point plus 1 i will be doing minus minus and simply maintaining max overlap and overlap and iterating over all the uh, indices of the difference array i will be adding the overlap value to the whatever value we are seeing at the difference array and simply i will be updating max overlap every time so this will return the maximum overlap answer okay so this is also a simple technique i think you can go through this if you still have any problem then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you